Welcome to this tutorial on sorting pivot tables in Google Sheets. It's different than how it works on Microsoft Excel. The data of a pivot table can be organized in rows or columns. Today, we will learn about the sorting options we have and how to apply them in both cases. Please consider downloading the example Google Sheet provided in the description. It is the one we have used in this tutorial. Step 1. Open the Pivot Table Editor. Here is an example of the pivot table, as shown in the video. You will see a pivot table editor by default on the right side of the screen. If you don't, then click on any cell of the table or hover the cursor over it. An edit icon should appear on the bottom left side, as shown in the video. Click on it to open the pivot table interface. Step 2. Understand the editor's interface. Pivot table editor contains two areas, control panel and columns navigator. The control panel window allows a user to adjust pivot table by adding rows, columns, values, and filters. The columns navigator window includes a list of columns from the original data set. Feel free to ignore this part of the pivot navigator for this tutorial. Step 3. Sorting in ascending and descending order. Navigate to rows section in the control panel window and locate the order menu. It is a drop-down menu that lets you sort the table in ascending or descending order. It is set to ascending by default. Next to it is the sort by menu. Note that it is set to the first column by default. In our case, the first column is the product column. In the sort by drop-down menu, you will see a list of all available columns. Choose the one you would like to target. Change the order to either ascending or descending from the order drop-down menu. Accordingly, Google Sheet will update the pivot table to show you the values as you have instructed it to. Whether your dataset is in rows or columns, the pivot table can be used to control the order with these same steps. As you can now see it in action on this new data arranged in rows. It is recommended to practice this tutorial with the dataset provided. Once you get a hang of it, you'll be able to use it more fluently with your own sheets. If you find this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more useful Google Sheets tips. Thanks for watching.